Hey everybody, Neil Russell here. Here's one last thing God put on my heart to share with all of you about a woman who touched so many hearts. Her name was Kelly Christensen. So here comes the story right now. God's timely answer to Kelly Christensen's fervent prayer. She was a prayer warrior. Here's a picture of Kelly sitting in her apartment with one of her pictures. And I want you to know something. There's a lot of you out there that have pictures that she painted and sent them to you out of an act of love. How many people do that? Here's a picture I'm going to hold up right now that I took off the wall. This is a picture that Kelly sent me. A gorgeous picture. This is her gifting. We all have giftings, but she used it to God's glory. This is from Alaska. Now, I'm going to go forward with this presentation. Kelly sent so many pictures. Take a look at these. Look at the gorgeous scenery. I mean, this is breathtaking. God only gave us two things to learn with. She was a teacher, and I am too, okay? She used to travel. I mean, you know the stories about Kelly. She loved children. She was a librarian. And she would use her gifting because there's two ways we learn by our ears you're listening to my voice and also by our eyes and kelly used both of these to communicate the truth to everyone she met now here's the reason i'm producing this last video on kelly and i want you to send it to everyone as you know kelly christensen faithfully got up every day and spent the whole morning she would be reading God's word, singing songs. She would sing praise songs to God. But the most important thing Mike, this Kelly girl did was she would pray. And she used to live in Alaska. For everybody she knew, her mind was sharp. All the way until the day she died at 102, her birthday would have been October 17th. She would pray for everyone, lift them up in prayer. From Alaska all the way across America to where I live on the East Coast with my wife and our family. She did this every single day. She was a fervent prayer warrior and her prayers were answered. Look at that beautiful baby. That's an answered prayer that Kelly sent me. Now, I'm going to read you something. This is something I sent out, but Kelly sent this to me. I found it on email. The other night I was reading from the Living Bible, Philippians 19:14 where Paul seemed to be uh, expressing my own thoughts. Living means opportunities for Christ and dying, well, that's even better. So which is better, to live or to die? Sometimes, this is Kelly saying, and Paul says it too, sometimes I want to live and yet other times I don't. For I long to be with Christ Kelly says, my thoughts exactly. Thank you again for your good wishes. And she's wishing everybody out there and your emails and your cards and your Facebook messages and calls. Richly blessed, blessings and hugs and love to all. And she really meant every word, as you all know that. Now we're going to go forward. You're going to learn something that most of you do not know. Kelly called me up on the phone one day. And it was just recently, and she said to me, Neil, please listen to this. Neil, this is Kelly. I thought the Lord would take me up for this morning, but it didn't happen. I'm still alive. I'm not well at all. I don't know what I'm going to do if I die. Please continue to, to ask the Lord to take me today. I can't go on. Anyway, thank you, honey. This is what I said to Kelly. I want all of you to hear this. Kelly, there's a dot at the end of my life. There's a dot at the end of yours. God knows from the, he created us in Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, I know the plans I have for you. He knows the plans for all of you. Do we all fulfill it? No way. No way. Most people don't. But Kelly Christensen had one last prayer that wasn't answered. And I said, God, God's not going to take you, Kelly, until your final prayer is answered. And the very next day, her prayer was answered. On August 28th, she calls me up 
And here is the story that most of you don't know. And I'm gonna share with you now. My wife and I were the only ones that knew this. Neil, um, she was so happy. My prayers were answered, Neil, today. And I can't tell you if there were two relatives or two friends, but two people stopped over her to her apartment. They were going to remove Kelly from her apartment and put her in a, ho a hospice room until she died. And Kelly witnessed to them and shared God's love. And it's God's love. It's relationship, folks, just like you had with Kelly. It's not religion. Religion is division. It's relationship. And she shared the fact that God created everything we have out of an act of love. And because of our sin, he sent his son Jesus to suffer and die on the cross. And that relationship out of an act of love all we have to do, as Kelly explained to them, is just be, go down on our knees and repent of our sins and thank Jesus for saving us and washing us clean so we can go forward. And that's what Kelly explained to them, and they did. And they're, and they're saved. And Kelly was so, happy, she was so happy to share that with me, and I'm so honored to share that with you. See, the moment Kelly went home, the next day, the next day, all her prayers were answered. Kelly Christensen, well done, my good and faithful servant. Welcome home, Kelly Christensen. She's a prayer warrior. We'll all miss her, but let's take up where she left off. Let's start praying for everyone we know. See, I was praying. I started praying three months ago, and she was one of the people on my list. Father, answer her prayers before you take her home. And it was answered. So thank you. Send this to everybody you know. Everyone you know. Send it out to Kelly, to God's glory, and to Kelly. She'll be dancing in heaven for you. Thank you very much.